Hello, I'm River, and welcome to my Devil May Cry The Bloody Pals paint series. Today, I'll be working on Nightmare, the DT familiar that V summons in Devil May Cry. I start off, like any other model, I trim up some old lines. This guy's got mostly in the same spots you'd expect. Extremities, the claws. Prime the model with matte black paint. Depending on how you view Nightmare in the light, he seems kind of dark, almost completely black, with sort of an oily sheen to him. However, in the concept art, as well as in-game in the correct light settings, you'll see he's actually a weird, sort of very dark green. So I'm going to go off of that for this color palette. I start with Wizard's Orb. I go ahead and I dry brush the entire model. You can do this very easily. The model's entire body has a sort of weird like texture to it, so the dry brush works very well. You don't have to be too careful to avoid the weird carapace armor pieces or the eyeball even, because we're just going to paint over them a little later. Just make sure you keep refreshing your brush every now and then. Yeah, Nightmare is huge and he's like weirdly caked up, so watch out for that. Don't get too distracted. Following up with a bit of rough iron. Alternatively, you can use a sort of metallic silver mixed with like browns. I was just trying to use a gross kind of nasty metal color that I was going to coat these little carapace parts that Nightmare has within him. When you're doing these shoulder spikes, make sure you get the sort of in-between parts where the primer may not have reached and will probably have the white color as well from the plaster. With some Dragonfire Red, I go ahead and fill in the little gaps, the little lines that glow all along Nightmare's armored carapace pieces. I water down my Dragonfire Red enough so that it flows within the sort of crevices and slots where this light emerges from. Don't worry too much about getting it on the metal parts because we can just come back later and clean that up. What's important right now is that you get enough into these little visor type slots so that the red will show through proper. I use the same Dragonfire Red to give his claws their kind of shiny redness to them. Now, you may want to come back later and possibly like wash these with some sort of dark shade so that they appear darker, but for the rest of this model I make sure that they just remain this bright sort of like cherry red, just to stand out a bit more. You'll find these all over the fronts of his weird mace-like arms, around his eyeball, and on his feet. Alien Purple, I just go ahead and I paint the entire bit of the eyeball. You can also see I use the sort of rough iron to paint around the eyelid, I think it is? <laughs> I'm not sure what we'd call it. The combination of gunmetal and rough iron, I come back and I begin cleaning up all of the metal plates where the red has sort of gotten out of hand. Just sort of make it look finer. I also just kind of put the new metallic color here and there just to make it so it's eking out bits of like sheen to it. Pixie Dust Purple. I go ahead and I just give the eyeball its weird vertical slat right down in the pupil too. I then take a dry brush and kind of get the whole eye to make it seem like it's glowing. I also do a little bit around it on the metal plates and the little uh, spikes and flesh around the eyeball to give it a glow effect. Coming back with Alien Purple, I'm just going to real quick get the direction marker on the base. 
When you're done with this, you can use some matte black to clean up any mistakes you made that may have reached the base. One more trip with Wizard's Orb. I'm just going to real quick give it another dry brush on only the most outfacing parts of its body. Around the top of its sort of like head mantle area, its more outward facing muscles, and its forearms and such. With that, I call the model done. It's one of the more simple models in the entire set, and it's actually really fun to paint. Dry brushing is just a good time to do. I definitely think the model stands out, especially with its huge size and weight. If you liked the video, comment and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.